Hi, my name is Don Briggs and I'm a member of the team at Breadboard Electronics and this is project number 10 based on our starter kit. This is another project with transistor as a switch but this time we've actually added a couple of electrolytic capacitors. What we've done, we've added two 100 microfarad capacitors and if SW2 is closed then that would add those two in parallel to our circuit which would make 200 microfarad or with the open the circuit just contains 100 microfarad that might sound a bit much for a complete beginner but uh, it might help if I show you the idea is that when we close the switch SW1 that will charge up the this second ca capacitor and then we open that switch again that capacitor will discharge and keep that alight the idea of the graph below from the, the virtual oscilloscope is so you can see the charge of the capacitor as it slowly discharges through the LED the easiest way to, sh to show you is to really show you so flick that switch as you see the capacitor is charged up I've switched it off you can see the capacitor is slowly degrading and uh, the LED is currently lit and it will go on for a number of seconds and now it's it's out now if I close that that switch that would join these two in parallel uh, and two, cap two capacitors in parallel you add those two values together <laughs> so that will make the same as having one that is 200 microfarad so we close the switch to charge them up I open the switch and the, the LED is on there's no power going to the LED and it will slowly degrade it, but it will take longer than the previous one because of the fact that there are now two capacitors in parallel which double their value and I promise you it will go there, there it's gone off so that was that now the uh, the breadboard layout is starting to get a little bit complex now but I've tried to keep it fairly even so you can see what's going on this is our first switch this is our second switch this was a switch that joins these two together so we turn our power on and we can see by the scope that it is now slowly degrading the LEDs on it's slowly slowly degrading and the LED will eventually go out there you go is now gone out now if I connect those two uh, together and then turn the power on briefly the LED comes on and it will stay on for a longer period of time now there are formulas for working out capacitance in series in the same way that there are resistors in parallel but I'm not going to go into that here it's not my place uh, I don't want to bore you it's probably boring enough watching me there and the, the LED has just gone out that's the end of project 10 thank you for watching hi this is project 10 transistor as a switch and LED dimmer the idea of this circuit is that we actually use the capacitance of one or both of those capacitors to slowly dim the light or the LED once they have charged up the easiest way is really to show you so we turn the power on and what that's actually doing that's charging one of the elite what well has charged one of the uh, capacitors and it, that capacitor now has been disconnected so it will slowly discharge through the LED as you see that's slowly getting dimmer now if we the other switch what that effectively does it joins these two capacitors in parallel so they now become twice the size of what they were so to briefly turn the power on to charge them up turn the power back off and again they will just now slowly discharge through the LED until uh, everything is gone basically nice little circuit um, just to really show how capacitors work and what they can do. These two are in uh, 
parallel so you add their values together if you want to add if you want to have them in series you need to look up the formula to calculate that figure here we go now we're all, almost down it's almost out so we'll stop the video there thank you for watching